What's going on guys, Shane here. Today we're talking about shadow boxing with weights. People have a lot of questions like, does it increase speed? How much weight should I hold? So we'll answer those questions followed by a couple of different routines that you can add into your workout. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've been shadow boxing with and without weights as long as I've been training. And I recommend doing both. And if you watch videos of your favorite fighters training, Floyd Mayweather, Gennady Golovkin, they all shadow box with weights in their hands. If it works for them, I like to think it works for everybody, okay? So how much weight should you use? I like using two pound weights. I don't go any heavier than this. Now I'm 140, 145 pounds, I linger around there. If you're bigger, stronger, you can get away with a three pound weight, but don't exceed that. Five pounds even is too heavy because once you start throwing hooks and overhands, it's gonna put too much strain on your shoulders, okay? So keep it light. Now think about boxing gloves. When you have gloves on your hands, 16 ounce gloves, 16 ounces is a pound, right? So if you're used to doubling that up, once you put the gloves on, they're gonna feel a little bit lighter, you're gonna feel a little bit faster. Does this increase the speed of your punches? A little bit, yes, because let's break it down. So when I'm standing here, gravity is pushing down, right? It's not pushing against me. So when I throw a punch, it's not like it's resisting and it's building up the drive, the force muscles that are going this way. However, if you hold on to your shoulder when you throw a punch, you can feel your shoulder being activated, okay? So what it's doing more so is building up shoulder endurance, right? So when I throw a punch, gravity's pushing down, it's forcing me to keep my arm in a straight line, A to B, but even B back to A, pulling it straight back. So when you're doing these following drills, I want you to make sure that you're not punching and looping down here, okay? That's gonna create bad habits and it exposes you in a fight, right? I'm open, boom, I'm gonna get countered. So A to B, B to A. So when you're throwing shots, it should be this here. So yes, it is gonna help a little bit with the acceleration, heavier weight, that push. Now when I take the, the weight out of my hand, I'm gonna feel much, much quicker, okay? So the first thing that you can do, what I prefer doing, is going a minute and 30 seconds, just regular shadow boxing, moving around just like I would normal, then I drop the weights and I do another minute and 30 without, and you'll feel much quicker. So that's a full round, that's a three minute round, and then you can repeat. Another thing that you can do is just go one round with weights, one round without, one round with, one round out, and alternate. So experiment, figure out what works for you. Okay, the next drill is more stationary, standing in one spot. Now with the previous drill, what I've noticed is when I hand someone a pair of weights, they tend to stay in one spot, and they start shadow boxing like this. Move around, right? Add more weight to your entire body. So you're working your calves and your legs, you're working your core, your obliques, and your lower back when you start moving your head side to side or forward and back. But with this next drill, you are gonna stay in one spot. So what I do is I either go 100 punches or I'll go 30 seconds, straight punches as fast, as hard as I can. Really just trying to burn the shoulders and arms out. As soon as I'm done, I go straight up with an upright press, up and down. Again, 30 seconds. So now we're at a minute. From here, I go uppercuts. Again, 30 seconds, as fast, as hard as I can. You're gonna to start to get tired. At here, we're at a minute and a half. And then this next one, I go lateral raise, but I don't go all the way down, right? There's no point where there's no resistance. I like going like this. So I'm working here, I'm coming up, I'm pulling right down. You'll feel a lot of fatigue in your shoulders doing that. 30 seconds, half lateral raises. Then I go 30 seconds forward, half lateral raises. At that point, we're at two minutes and 30 seconds, you're gonna be super tired, your shoulders are gonna be burning, so we finish with a static hold. We just hold it out to the side. You can rotate if you have to, palms down, palms up. I like going palms down personally, it's just a personal preference, so that you can work uh, the full deltoid muscle in either shoulder. All right guys, thanks for watching. So grab yourself a pair of light dumbbells and get to shadow boxing. Be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. Until then, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.